Hey everyone, this is Ed with Get Out Be Happy and I've been making some progress on my Runaway Range Runner. Just wanted to show that to you. So starting off, I have um, wired up the lights on the inside of the trailer as well as wired up the power to the rear view camera. My wife is nervous about pulling the trailer she's never pulled before and wanted to make it easier for her when we go on longer trips and we both pull. So having a seven inch screen inside the um, minivan will allow her to know what's behind her, might ease her mind a little bit. So have also put in our uh, bed slash couch. So I will show that to you in a few moments. Just been making some progress, excited about it. And so here in a moment, I will show you. Okay. Here is our bed in couch mode. And the thing I like about this setup is that my wife and I can sleep in a north south configuration. And I like that because we slept east west in our pop up. We were crawling over each other to use the restroom and drove us nuts. So now we can avoid that by being in a north-south configuration. In couch mode, the bed only comes out 42 inches, or the couch only comes out 42 inches, I should say. And how we do that is we have two 30-inch heavy-duty locking slides that we got from Amazon. And those are rated at 440 pounds a piece. We have those mounted on two by tens. So that gives us approximately nine and a half inches of height. And that's 42 inches deep at the front of the couch. So that just gives us just a ton of room. Now from the sides of the Two by tens is approximately 48 inches. So we have approximately 48 inches underneath here wide, 42 inches deep, nine and a half inches high in couch mode. And then we also have this container over here, which is interior about 16 inches wide. 18 inches tall and I forget the length of the storage piece and then back up front I've made it to where I can have our little Reliance toilet I'm going to be rounding off this piece so as not to jab ourselves and there will be a lid going on so I'm using the drainage tiles. Uh, got these from Ikea. They are Al Tappen. They were the least expensive I could find and actually uh, I'm impressed. They're relatively thin. They lock together very well, as you can see, you know, moving them around they're not moving you know they're not separating and uh, so it's going to provide airflow underneath the mattress and that's going to be over all the uh the ply and then i'm not going to have to worry about condensation so here i will show you how i will take down the bed but before I take down the bed, I just want to show you how this 
looks in couch mode with being on it. The base here, it's 30 inches deep. This back piece is 22 inches, and the piece that goes up against the wall is 20 inches. That's a total of 72 inches, six feet. The width is 52 inches uh, from wall to the wall of the uh, uh, box here. And our mattress will be 50 inches wide. It gives us one inch on either side. It is a five inch memory foam mattress that we are cutting down. Basically, it is a full size bed when all said and done. It's going to be um, just shy of a full size bed. Now, the bottom here in this, the 30 and 22, 52 inches will be one piece. The 20 by 50 will actually be two pieces. So I will have 20 by 25, two 20 by 25 pieces. And the reasoning behind that is when I fold it up like this, I have to do something with those. So the nice thing is, is we can put one here and we can put one over here. So if we are in inclement weather, you know, my wife and I can lean against it, play cards, do whatever, you know, but you just use it as extra padding and we don't have this, you know, four foot long pad that we have to do something with. We have smaller, you know, pads that uh, are easy to manage and actually beneficial. So let me show you how the bed comes down. So first, take the strap that I've attached to the board here. Just pull on the strap a little bit to pull the board off the back wall. Release the locks. Pull forward. And then let the back board down. And then pull this out till it locks. Okay. Now this 22 inch piece will be hinged. Uh, not hinged yet, but it will be. And like I said, 20 by 25 inch pieces that will go here. It will be able to lay down. Now, you see these wires up here? Um, there will actually be a panel that's going to go up here and cover those up. I'm actually going to have the panel offset from the wall by a quarter inch just to give room for the wires. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm really excited about the build. Hoping to be done in the next couple of weeks. Just working on it on the weekends when it's nice. Uh, right now it's March 1st. And we are have our first uh, get out. Uh, have our first uh, trip here in April. But, you know, if the weather's nice, we'll probably go out you know, maybe in March, later in March. Uh, just a spur of the moment trip just depending on how the uh, weather is. But that's where we are at. So again, this is Ed with Get Out, Be Happy. And remember, live outside the box.